Now, how this interferon response actually happens <clears throat> in, ca in case of the natural killer cells, okay. <clears throat> The PAMP recognition, the PAMP is either here single-stranded RNA or double-stranded RNA. It's a single strain, the pink one that you see here. This one is a double strain RNA, okay? You have studied about the tall-like receptors, that there are 10 different types of tall-like receptors. And these tall like receptors are present on different cells of the innate immune system. On natural killer cells, there are three different tall like receptors that are present there. One is TLR3, and other is TLR7 and TLR8. Okay? The tall like receptor 3, these receptors in the green are specifically for double-stranded RNA, okay? If it is a double-stranded RNA, it would bind to these green receptors that you see here that are called TLR3. These receptors are endosomal. They are inside the cell, okay? When the virus is entered, if it is a single-stranded RNA virus, it is going to be recognized by TLR7 and TLR8, the red one. If it is a double stranded RNA virus, it is going to be recognized by tall like receptor 3. So these are PAMPs recognized by these PRRs are the pattern recognition receptors that are the tall like receptors here. Okay. Now, if you see here, when a single, single stranded RNA binds to <coughs> tall like receptor 7 or 8, and this receptor dimerizes, <coughs> dimerization means that it is now activated as a result of this binding, it's going to send the sag signal inside the cell to an adapter protein which is known as MYD88. You also have studied this, okay? Now this MYD88 is going to lead to this cascade of phosphorylation and dephosphorylation of different peptides including TBK and finally leading to the phosphorylation of interferon response factor 3, 7. Interferon response factor 7 is phosphorylated, dimerized, and then it enters into the nucleus. It acts as a transcription factor for the activation of these genes, interferon alpha, and interferon beta. Who is doing this? Single stranded RNA of the virus. And TLR7 and TLR8, they are going to lead to this cascade of events, leading ultimately to the production of interferon alpha and interferon beta. Okay, these are type 1 interferons. Now, if it is a double stranded RNA, as you see here, coupled with the green, the receptor is now dimerized and activated. Now, this receptor is going to send the signals inside by another adapter protein that is given in the yellow here. This is TRIF3. TRIF is the tall receptor associated activator of interferon. So this adapter protein is going to send further signals 
to IKK and TBK1, okay, different kinases, ultimately leading to the phosphorylation of IRF3, our interferon response factor 3, which is another transcription <laughs> factor. And this factor is translocated into the nucleus. And it would start the synthesis of interferon beta. It would transcribe interferon beta gene, but not interferon alpha. So interferon beta would be produced as a result of that. These are the type 1 interferons that can be produced by these means, by these cells. Now, if you look at the TLR classification of the tall like receptors, there are 10 tall like receptors. And the tall like receptors can be classified based on these adapter proteins, the pink one here, the yellow one here, okay, MYD88. So you can classify these tall like receptors according to the adapter proteins, the proteins that are going to transduce the signals sent inside the cell for making these interferons. Okay? One adapter protein is TRIF, one adapter protein is MYD88 that are transducing the signals here as you see here. Okay, so TRIF or TRIF is only used by TLR3, the green one, for double stranded RNA. If the signal has to be transduced, this signal that there is presence of the double stranded RNA in the cell, this signal would be transduced with the help of TRIF. TRIF, and this is going to lead to the production of interferon beta. If it is TLR4, a tall like receptor 4, the tall like receptor 4 can use this adapter protein as well as the yellow adapter protein TRIF or MYD88. It can use both of them. It means that tall like receptor 4 signaling can produce both interferon alpha and interferon beta. Okay? In case of viruses or bacterial infections. All other TLRs except TLR3 and TLR4, they are using only MYDD, the pink one, is an adapter protein, a transducer of the signals. Okay? So it means that all other tall like receptors, they can detect different kind of products, pathogens or microbial products, and lead to the production of interferon alpha and interferon beta.